माई सेल्फ बिनॉय असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग वेद व्यास इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी माई टॉपिक इज सस्पेंशन सिस्टम द क्वेश्चन फॉर पैसेंजर्स द सस्पेंशन सिस्टम इज द टर्म गिवन टू द सिस्टम ऑफ स्प्रिंग्स शॉक एब्सॉर्बर्स एंड लिंगेजेस दैट कनेक्ट्स ए व्हीकल टू इट्स व्हील्स it is basically cushion for passengers protects the luggage or any cargo and also itself from damage and wear so william brush is a father of suspension system in automobiles the role of suspension system the main role of suspension system are as follows they are it supports the weight of vehicle it provides smoother ride for the driver and passengers that's it act as a cushion it protects your vehicle from damage and wear it also keeps the wheels passed firmly to the ground for traction it also plays a critical role in maintaining self driving conditions it isolates the body from road shocks and vibrations which would otherwise be transferred to the passengers and load the principle of suspension when a tire hits an obstruction there is a reaction force the size of this reaction force depends on the unsprung mass at each wheel assembly in general the larger the ratio of sprung weight to unsprung weight the less the body weight and vehicle occupants are affected by bumps dips and other surface imperfections such as small bridges A large sprung weight to unsprung weight ratio can also impact the vehicle control. The definitions of sprung and unsprung mass. The sprung mass which means or it refers to the vehicle parts supported on the suspension system such as the body, frame, engine, the internal components, passengers and cargo. The term unsprung mass which means or it refers to the components that follow the road contours such as wheels tires brake assemblies and any part of the steering and suspensions not supported by the springs the working of suspension system actually no road is perfectly flat that is without irregularities even a freshly paved highways have subtle imperfections that can be interact with vehicles wheels these are the imperfections that apply forces on wheels according to newton's law of motion all forces have both magnitude and direction a bump in the road causes the wheel to move up and down perpendicular to the road surface the magnitude of course depends on whether the wheel is striking a giant bump or a tiny speck thus either the wheel experiences a vertical acceleration as it passes over an imperfection this is the figure which shows the horizontal or vertical acceleration the parts of typical suspension the suspension of a car is actually part of the chassis which comprises all of the important system located beneath the car's body this system includes frame suspension system steering system and tires or wheels the basic components of car suspension system is shown in this figure which already shows the frame the steering linkage control arm and shock absorber the components of any suspension there are three fundamental components of any suspension system they are the springs dampers and anti sway bars spring the representation for springs as follows this is the coil spring representation this is the leaf spring representation and this is the air springs representation dampers There are three types: the shock absorbers, the extension cycle, and compression cycle.
Next one, the struts. This is a basic max function struts design. Anti sway bars. The anti sway bars, which are also known as anti roll bars, are used along with the shock absorbers or struts to give a moving automobile additional stability. An anti sway bar is a metal rod that spans the entire axle and effectively joins each side of the suspension together. The types of suspension. There are mainly two types, that's the front and rear. In front, the independent and non-independent. Also in the case of rear, there are independent and non-independent. These are the figure shows the difference between the independent and non-independent suspensions. Advantages. Comfort to passengers. Good handling. Shield the vehicle from damage. Increase life of vehicle and keeps the tires pressed firmly to the ground. These are the main advantages. The specialized suspensions formula one, the multi-link suspension system, that's the representation. The modern technology, the hydraulic fluid and air suspensions and the electronic and the active suspensions are the modern type of technology developing suspension systems. From the whole discussion in suspension system, it's observed that the suspension system is like a white blood cell. As white blood cell provides energy to our body to fight against diseases or virus which try to destroy or try to decrease our life. In the similar way, a suspension system provides the energy to a vehicle to protect itself from damaging, increasing life of the vehicle, increases the handling increase the comfort of passengers and many more. So according to uh, the theory, if you remove the suspension system, then you feel like in bull cart in Audi, Mercedes type luxurious cars, the only difference is speed. So the scope of suspension system is too bright. <laughs>